Hello, everybody, and welcome back once more to Anime Yay or Nay. I am the Outback Al. I'm Hot for Justice. I'm Chibi Noob. I'm Envy Jitters. And I'm June Cosplay. And we're back with more video game adaptations. And weirdly enough, we ended up with another trial thing going on, same as last week, but in a even less realistic circumstances, I guess? Best yes. way to put it? So, uh -huh. Daggum Rampa. I mean, they did say that this series was inspired by Ace Attorney. Like, the creator said that he was inspired by Ace that. Attorney, so... But they have a far worse name, in my opinion. Daggum to Rampa, then what <sighs> is this show, game, thing? Is this where, like, I feel like there was a stretch in, like, the 2010s where there was, like, a bunch of, like, murder high school anime? Does anyone else remember that a little bit? Kind of. Is this kind of where it started? Uh, I guess. I mean, I I, I, I wasn't on it in the 2010s, but I imagine this was a very Tumblr uh, game series. That, like, it was popular on Tumblr. I mean... Oh, yeah. Yeah. I would say I'm like, the game came out in, like, what, 2010? Um, yeah. Or was it that the anime? No, the anime came out in 2012. Yeah, the game is 2010, I think. Okay. Around it might the have time been later, actually, but well, um, no, because I remember watching it before I went to college. No, I meant the game. Uh, game okay. 2010, animation 2013. Okay. Yeah, so we th this is the anime. Who's seen this before? Me. Me. I have not, but I have seen the first two games played through. Through talking to Gab over the years, and. That's pretty much it. Asking, asking more questions. That's pretty much it. And going <laughs> yep. to conventions, and and pretty much me going to conventions and asking, you know, people. So who was that from that series? Who was that? Who was that? Okay, thank you. I know the crazy girl Junko, but that's about it. <laughs> and the bear. I didn't even know his name. I just knew him as the bear. Ah. Cool. So I'm the one person who went in here knowing pretty much nothing. Because I feel like uh, I have never asked anyone about any of this. I mean, yeah, pretty much. Cool, mm -hmm. fun. So I guess we should start with my impressions then, since I'm the new guy. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty new too, let's put it that way. Yeah, but not as new. You at least know something going on. Uh, I, I guess it's interesting. You got a bunch of stereotypes taken to the nth degree, put them all in a confined space, and then tell them to kill each other. I mean, <laughs> I do like the movie Battle Royale, so yep. by all accounts, I should enjoy this. And it was okay, I guess. Uh, I guess, I don't know. I could see how this is definitely be a game, and like, you would probably get a lot more character and story out of it. Out of these three episodes, it's kind of like, hey, we're just gonna jump immediately into just get, a, get as quickly to the killing as possible. Which, okay, kudos for, for jumping into your plot real fast, but at the same time, it's like, I don't care about any of these people. But at the same time, I'm kind of wondering if this is like a, a horror movie scenario where I'm not really supposed to care about anyone and just see how they die and see who can get away with it. So my general thing about that is, is like, they're focusing less on aspects that would be more gameplay mechanics, and they're focusing more on characters and sort of setting up character like dynamics and relationships like they already established Nayagi and Kirigiri as like they're gonna be allies Sakura and swim girl I can't remember her name ever Asahina. As yes Asahina um, they're they're gonna be friends and just sort of giving you like a layout of who the personalities are for the yeah. story that's gonna play out and sort of showing you how this is gonna work. Yeah, no, I think I got yeah. a good, pretty good idea how this works. I mean, we've seen someone die and then someone get called out for it. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. But I feel like if we, if the episodes themselves had like a longer runtime and this was more like the length of a normal, like procedural drama, like we have here in the US, like about 43 minutes per episode, we'd have probably a lot more stuff we can do with it, but you know, half hour episodes. I will say that they can't really do much with the characters because in the game that you choose who you want to go talk to and become friends with that's fair. between everything else that's happening. So it's kind of like if they went through everyone, it would take up a lot of time. And it's like sometimes you don't even get to see like everyone's 
secret stuff when you're playing the game because you only have like a couple days before something happens. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm talking about a little bit is that like it, it felt kind of like we're just jumping in like I feel like this is much more of a thing of like going around and having conversations with people and you don't really get that here. It's more of just like the baseline of like what's your stereotype. Yeah. Well, I mean, it for me, for me it was almost like any time you have a cast in a competition type show or a, a drama type show like this is going to be a weird comparison but like Survivor or yeah. like Total Drama Island on Cartoon Network like in the beginning the characters really weren't that dynamic. They were just you know, character, character stereotypes, and like Chips was saying, they played off of each other. But as more and more contestants get eliminated, or in this case, die, the few remaining ones get more and more focus, and that those are the ones that become the main characters, and you get more and more of their personality. I like that comparison. I mean, I feel like it's fairly obvious who the main character here is, but <laughs> well, yes, I know that, but I'm like the other main characters that you see because. Yeah, it's obviously he's going to be the main focus. He's the main protagonist from the game. But like the other main characters, you see more and more of them towards the back half of the show as some of the other characters get, you know, it's probably not a spoiler to say, but a lot of people in this show died. Probably. I, got I have a lot to say, so I'll go <laughs> later. I had a few. Okay. <laughs> I want to say that the, the first, like what you guys were saying, I think the first death in the game is like 10 hours in. Yeah, I was not going to so wait that long. <laughs> this feels like we're really just jumping straight into it. But, like, on the other hand, it's kind of nice because it can be kind of a slog. You have to go through and talk to everybody yeah. and go through, like, yeah. several days before anything happens. I mean, this kind of was the conversation we were having last week about Ace Attorney a little bit. Like, it does take forever to get through the game. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. I think that's going to come up a lot this month. I mean, as somebody who hasn't, you know, played the games. I am only coming in, I guess, as an anime only. Technically, I am probably I'm probably going to be the minority here. I enjoyed the hell out of the show. Like I binged <laughs> it in three days, and I, <gasps> I, 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 I had a blast watching it. I mean, it was funny too. After I watched the show, I had a lot of uh, questions about the ending, and so I, I private messaged Gab because I did my research on the series <laughs> after this game slash first anime. And all I said to her was, how deep does this shit go? <laughs> because, holy <laughs> shit, Very. there are so many sequels and spinoffs and branching stories. And I'm just like, what? 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 <laughs> what? It's like Japanese. What fresh hell is this? It's like Japanese Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> <laughs> so much lore. And sometimes the lore doesn't even know where it's going. <laughs> My response was, very. There's a lot to it. Yeah, <laughs> literally gave me a order like a timeline almost i'm thinking oh my gosh are we turning into fate i know we're not turning into fate but still <laughs> yeah i did give a timeline i it was funny because i had just been talking about it that night with some online friends in a discord server and i was giving the order there so i was like you know what i better text envy and tell him the order too in case he wants to like get more into it so i mean obviously gav i think you're the biggest uh danganronpa fan so let it all out vent rage if you have uh, to i'll let chibi speak on it first but <laughs> so i haven't played the game and i've only watched this and i sort of cursory know other bits and pieces mostly from gav um <laughs> but i as far as, like, an anime adaptation of this kind of game, a visual novel game, I feel like it was fine. As far as, like, the investigative parts, which is actually more of what I would have seen, I would have enjoyed watching them, like, piece things together. Like, wow, they're finding things versus just telling us the evidence and what it probably means during like the trial which is kind of why i'm just sort of like i've been reading a lot of thrillers lately let's just say that and i kind of like piecing it together before we actually get to that point so for me it's a little bit of a letdown but for time constraints and budget stuff like i can kind of understand why they're not able to do that yeah both both ace attorney and uh, this show kind of just like sped run the both the investigation 
collection and investigating the crime scene so pretty so it's pretty much it's almost feels like the characters are like pulling stuff out of their asses during the trials oh yeah i mean ace attorney has a lot of ass pulls anyway <laughs> yeah yeah i mean i wasn't looking at the screen like i do i i usually do the dub and then like i'm doing something else while i'm watching and so like i completely missed the investigation because they didn't like say most of it out loud they just showed it on yeah. the screen. Mm -hmm. So we got yeah. to the trial. I'm like, wait, are we not going to investigate? And then they're like, oh, yeah, remember when we saw this? I'm like, no, I don't remember when we saw this. <laughs> yeah, I... That was kind of the thing for me. I was just like, ugh. I'm like, well, had the runtime been either longer or we had, like, more episodes, I feel like for me that would have worked a bit better. But alas... Mm -hmm. No. What I can say, though, the opening and ending are fire. So. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. a really good opening and ending. Oh, my God. Like, I remember when I first heard that ED, I was like, oh, I must download it immediately. And this was like when I was when, after the first time I had actually seen it, like years and years ago. And I. Honestly, I for I remember what the opening sounded like, but then it was like I forgot there was rapping. <laughs> yeah, I feel like but, they had two different openings. Am I crazy? I feel like episode one had a different opening, but as like a mid roll. I feel like the first episode had the instrumentals, and then the second episode had it with vocals. Or am I crazy? I don't know. I, I feel, feel like, like crazy. I felt like they waited till till the middle of the episode to throw in a theme song. They did, but. It was mostly just the instrumental bits. Okay. Like, after we kind of established who our characters were. I have the rap stuck in my head now. You're welcome. <laughs> it almost felt like a Persona 4 song. Like, I, I, I felt that especially during the chorus. So, <laughs> I'm like, damn it, I got too much it on, on the brain now. I felt like that bowl with three, but I understand. Like, I was like, is this Lotus Juice? But <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Anyone have anything to say before my long tangent? Do I'm it, done. do um, it, do well, it, do it. Let me oh, see <laughs> here. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess like the, the general plot overall was like, you know, introduce everybody, someone gets killed, do an investigation, trial, and we find out who the killer is after we were falsely accused of the main character, and then over the top death. I'm assuming that this is going to be rinse and repeat the whole time yep. until there's only like one or two people left uh, um, uh not that few but yeah not that few but yeah okay and also we forgot to mention too that you know they're literally trapped inside the school and so the only way to graduate is to kill somebody and get away with it in the trial yeah i mean i think yeah. that's kind of implied i don't think people would normally want to do this on just because i mean i could be wrong but yeah and they also said because you either because <laughs> If you get convicted, you instantly die. But if you get away with it, everybody else in the class jury dies. So yeah, a bit of a almost yeah. like an Among Us situation. I don't know. A little bit, yeah. Just, but higher stakes. I guess I'm just trying to like talk a little bit. I think I kind of agree with some of the stuff you guys have been saying. Like, yeah, it does feel a little bit rushed. So the game probably would have been better to play to actually get the details of things. But I guess it all kind of did. I I, kinda, I feel like I'm kind of used to that in a lot of like visual media as far as mystery goes they do kind of like i don't know a lot of them will do an ass pull and be like yeah well you know this was sh shown for like half a second that's clearly a, a clue that we can elaborate for like 20 minutes on or like we just didn't talk about it but you should have known anyway because we didn't show you i don't know sometimes the games kind of like that though where you don't really piece things together until like you get to the trial because I don't know. Do you get a health bar like you do in Ace Attorney? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's usually where you'll piece things together. I have a full health bar. I'll just click. I'll just uh, press on everything <laughs> and make sure you save. And don't you have those bullets too for like you know to say certain things at a certain time? Yeah. Yeah. It was kind of weird that they chose to keep that in the anime. Yeah. Like, visually, it felt so weird, because it, it, it's like a game mechanic, but mm -hmm. I guess they kind of have to keep it because the title translates to, like, bullet refute, so, like, you need to, like, show the truth bullets, but 
I did not realize that that word actually, you could translate it. I thought it was just a made up word. I guess it kind of reminds I me mean, a little bit. They also did sort of the same thing in Ace Attorney, but I think for the Ace Attorney ones, at the very least, it was like an, they mostly do it as like an establishing shot thing to tell you where you are, which makes a little more sense, I guess, in the anime medium that it was, but yeah. All right, go ahead, go off. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> I'll start with my history on Danganronpa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, you have two minutes. <laughs> you would just be a PowerPoint. Wow. Yeah, I honestly could give a PowerPoint on it. Um, <laughs> so I, like, Danganronpa became popular on Tumblr back in, like, 2010 when the game came out in Japan. And the thing is that it was, like, not... You know, it wasn't released here yet, but it was over there and it was super popular and people were like, hey, we're gonna translate this and post it online. So there's the Something Awful forums had posted, like, they were posting scanlations of Danganronpa, so like screenshots of everything translated. And it got to the point where it was so popular and people were reading it like so much that they put up a paywall so that people couldn't do that anymore and people were pissed off. And it was like this huge dilemma. But yeah, I was one of those people who was reading it like scanlations of it as they were being posted online. And then the game came out here and I played it on my PlayStation Vita, and it was just like an obsession of mine. Like, I had been reading it with my boyfriend at the time, and we gave different voices to all the characters because, you know, we're reading it and it's not gonna be voice acted when you're reading it. Kind of like, I mean, they did give them voices like in the game, but before that, we were giving them our own voices. Uh, so that was fun. But yeah, so it was just like a visual novel to us at that point. Like just a kind of more like a Higurashi style like type thing. But yeah, so I got into it that way. And then the anime came out like two years later and I was devastated. (laughs) Uh, Because the game, I was like so hooked on it. And I just thought the game was so good, so incredible. I had been a huge fan of like Battle Royale. That was that was and is my favorite movie. Mm. Um, and so I was like, okay, like this is just Battle Royale in a school with trials. It's like Battle Royale and Ace Attorney combined. Even though I hadn't played Ace Attorney yet, but you know, anyway. So I was super into it, and I was very let down by the anime because I thought the animation was kind of weird. And I thought that it went too fast, um, which I guess, like, I understand why it went too fast. But, like, you know, my little teenage brain was like, this isn't like the game at all. And I was upset about it. But it, it's honestly, like, not as bad of an anime as I probably thought it was at the time. Because if you don't know anything else about Danganronpa, like you haven't played the games, I could see why you would still like the anime. It's just like kind of disappointing as a game first person playing it, you know? So yeah, and I like the second game a lot better. They didn't make that into an anime, which I'm kind of glad but at the same time, it makes it harder for people to get into. But is I that mean, not overall, Super like, Rumpa 2.5? Super Danganronpa 2 is not an anime, it's just a game. There's an OVA. It's an OVA? Yeah, it's a TV program. Which one are you referring to? Danganronpa 2.5, Nagito, Kamida, and the Destroyer of the World is an OVA consisting of one episode. So there was something. Uh, I mean, that's like an afterthought. Mostly because it centers around one specific character from that game. Yeah, that's that's not... Yeah, at the time, there was the original game in anime, then Danganronpa 2, and then they made a Danganronpa 3 anime, where half of the story you can't understand if you didn't play the second game. <laughs> that is Yeah, weird. the da- the Kamida thing you're talking about is not related, like... 
it's was released in 2017 and it, it was part of technically the Danganronpa 3 anime. Interesting. So it sounds like the animators yeah. don't know what they're doing. <laughs> At least as far as putting something out in order goes. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's kind of weird. It's not like an in order type series at all though. And I could get into that if you wanted me to, but I'm no. trying to like keep it based on <laughs> the I, anime. I, I feel like if we go into the whole thing, you're going to be here for three hours and I'm not editing that. I will cut the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I just meant like I could give you the order of what to watch, but like, I don't know if anyone really cares enough about that. Um, See how we're feeling whenever we get to the yays and nays and then, and then give it to us if you feel like we're, we're warming up to it enough. Yeah, I mean, it. I, I would just be listing things. I wouldn't be talking about them. Hmm. Cozy used to talk about having me watch, I think it was this and then another show simultaneously that talked, I think it was like a prequel. It talked about what happened to the school before this series, the events of this game. Yeah, that's the Danganronpa 3 anime. Oh, okay. So it is like yeah. Five Nights at Freddy's where no one knows what order these games come in. <laughs> Except that wasn't a game. It yeah. like was strictly anime. The third game is not about that. So you can watch yeah. this, play the second game, watch the third season, that is the second season, and then at some point 2.5 is a thing. Yes. I'm liking this less, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so yeah. just focus on one, <laughs> one yeah, property at a time. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to find my rating for this back when I first watched it because I want to see what exactly I thought of it. Zero probably. out of ten. Not enough dialogue boxes. I was going to say, you probably gave it like half a star. Let's see. Danganronpa. I gave it a five. Mm. Hmm. Which... Okay. Is what I thought I would give it, just because it's still dinging rumpa and I still enjoyed it, but I didn't enjoy how it was executed. That's Fair. basically. How do you what feel I'll now? How did you? Well, I mean, we'll get to the A's and A's later, but have you warmed up to this a little bit, or is it worse? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'd still probably give it a five. <laughs> Is that out of 10? Yeah. I mean, for me, like a five out of 10 is kind of like, it's not grading. So I'm normally just like, I'm like, that for me is a meh. That's how I would use that rating system. Yeah, I mean, it's average. Like according to my anime list, it's average, which is probably what I would give it overall is my feelings on it is a meh. I mean, do we have other things to say or do we want to get into our final thoughts on it? I would say I watched this dub and I just come to the conclusion that I don't mind Bryce Pappenbrook if he's not Shiro or Aaron. I just <laughs> realized that now. Like the last couple of things I've seen Bryce Pappenbrook in, I've somewhat enjoyed. Like I liked him for Blue Exorcist. I, the few scenes I've seen of uh, Minosuke from the dub of Demon Slayer, I, he does a pretty damn good job at it. And I don't mind him here as uh, Nyagi. So, yeah, it's just those two roles I can't stand him in. <laughs> so, there's there's that. And I think I think the rest of the voice cast uh, does a good job. Although I hear that they replaced everybody in the anime except for Bryce Pappenbrook, so... <laughs> oh, I was gonna ask, are any of the voice actors the same? Because they, they sound a lot like their game characters, no. from what I remember. No, literally Bryce Pappenbrook was the only person that reprised his role from the game. I did not particularly like the dub of this, if I'm going to be honest. And I don't know the sub would be a whole lot better. I feel like it's one of those things of just the characters are their stereotype to the nth degree. So no matter what, I'm going to find something about them kind of annoying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looking at Chubbs McKenzie. Just, <laughs> oh, grating. But it's intentionally so, so I can't say you did a bad job. Yeah, like, no. I would say I'm like, that hamster face goes with that voice. So. Yeah. I did hate Monokuma in this. Oh, yeah. That's not Monokuma's voice. Get it out of here. That's uh, Leo from Ghost Stories. Mm-hmm. Is it? Yeah. Man, I can Gr usually recognize that one. Greg Ayers. 
Yep. Yeah, it's it's not Brian Beacock. It's not my boy. You know what? I'll give I'll give points to one person because I feel like they're always good no matter what I see them in. Uh, that's Chris Sabat. Yeah, I, so, I know you're gonna say him. Yeah. Chris Sabat and Caitlin Glass. I liked her. She's in this. Yeah, he's just he's just not Brian Beacock. Monokuma's not Brian Beacock, and therefore I can't like his voice. Hey, so what's with the pink blood? It's so the they games? didn't have to make it rated M. Yeah, they didn't want to make the games rated M, so they made the blood pink. Eh, I'd have just gone for M. I feel like it kind of takes eh. away from it a little bit. I mean, it's like censorship laws in Japan. It's like one of those weird things like, hey, you can't show like dead minors on screen. And because it's like a murder scene, it's like, okay, this. <laughs> We're going with this instead. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, but at the same time, there are other points where they just show straight up red blood, like on people's shirts or like when, uh, what's his, I was not going to learn everybody's name for these three episodes because I knew they were not going to last long. Uh, when the first murderer gets murdered, like those baseballs have red blood all over them. Yeah, it's inconsistent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess it's good that they didn't go with the, uh, the another school of censorship where they just cover everything with a black screen. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be terrible. Yeah, that would have been me going like, well, I'm done with this because I'm not watching anything. Yeah. I kind of liked, honestly, the pink blood. I, I know they did it for censorship, but for me, it was a fun way to get past it. And it gave it like its unique style to it, but maybe that's just me. I am a fan of the pink. It definitely has a unique style, which I assume has to just come from the game. Yeah. yeah. And whenever I see like hot pink anything, I'm like, oh, it looks like one of those Dangon Ropos was killed here. <laughs> <laughs> it I is mean, fun. I definitely think it's part of the aesthetic at this point, and kind of, it's, I don't know, I think it kind of goes with the color scheme a little it bit. It does. Sure, everyone's pretty neon here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it's fun. I, I agree with Cece whenever uh, we would. Like, I'd see, like, bottled hot pink nail polish, and I'd be like, ooh, they bottled someone's blood. <laughs> like, whoa. <laughs> like, it's just ridiculous, but... Or, like, Pepto-Bismol. Oh, my oh, God, no. that one. <laughs> like, Pepto-Bismol everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Did that ever become part of the memes? The Pepto-Bismol? Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Oh no, my Pepto Pismol, it got everywhere. It's all over <laughs> my shirt! They stabbed me and my Pepto Bismol container broke open. <laughs> Dang! Now I gotta do laundry! Hey, nothing for See, nothing. PG rating. I think that would be hilarious if there was like a twist reveal where someone does get stabbed and the pink blood's everywhere, but then like, no, it was Pepto Bismol hidden under my shirt. <laughs> You know, the sad thing, though, is that Japan will advertise anime and anime-related things on everything. So I would not be surprised if back in the day there was a Pepto-Bismol themed <laughs> merch of Rapa. I want somebody to, like, spill ketchup everywhere. Somebody be like, oh my god, it's blood! And they're like, it's not blood, it's red. <laughs> what are you on? Yeah, it's well, a meme. Well, while you look for anime and anime accessories, do we have anything else to say about this show the game will keep our opinions on until we maybe play it or something but for this show on its mm -hmm. own who's everybody's favorite character from these three episodes and these three episodes of Lone Asahina mm. well we know that <laughs> you <laughs> cosplayed that one <laughs> I I don't know I don't really have a favorite I just have ones that I don't like I didn't have a favorite until later on in the show because that's when she gets a lot more uh, screen time, screen time and development. But see, so yeah, I didn't really have a favorite the first three episodes. I think my favorite was the big one, the big girl, because she talked the least. The one you cosplay, Sakura. Yeah, I did that one. Ah. Yes. <laughs> oh right, you guys do I dress gave, me up with stuff. I <laughs> gave a Junko cosplayer five dollars to slap you. This is starting to come back to me a little bit. <laughs> I um I can't really say from the first three episodes I have other reasons why my favorites from the first game are my favorites but like that's unrelated to the first three episodes hmm. is it 
I'm gonna go out on a limb here. Again, do not know the game. Do not know anything other than just, like, I guess I got slapped by someone. Uh, <laughs> is your favorite character whoever the twist villain's gonna be who is supposed to be in the 16th seat? No. Okay. But there is one, I'm guessing. You could say that. Yeah, I will yeah. say that. In a I sense. will assume that. Kind of. <laughs> Don't want to give away. Kind of. So we have met them. Yes. You have yes, met this person. You have met this person. Is and Pinkie no, Pie you have still not alive? Met this person. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. What? Is mm-hmm. Pinkie Pie... Uh, who? Who's the one with the, the big, insane pigtails? Yeah, the one who got stabbed to death. The uh, other one who got stabbed to death. Yeah, she's still alive. Okay, yeah. This is why she's such a big character. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's I was like, why she's is, the yeah. face of Ding and Rumpa. I was about to be like, this is a little too like. Uh, I mean, you know, you usually have those moments like anytime you read like a Suicide Squad book or like see one of their movies, they always kill someone out the gate just to show like, yeah, there's stakes here. But it's like, it kind of feels like with this limited of a cast, it's like that's a bit of a waste to kill someone just to prove that you can kill someone. Yeah. So she's the one pulling the strings, thing. right? <laughs> We got a bit of like a. You guys ever see Saw? Yeah, no. Do you guys know what the twist of Saw, the first movie, is? Yes, yes. Yeah, Mm -hmm. I I got a feeling that's what exactly is going on here. Do you care about spoilers? Not really. Yes, it's her. Okay, yeah, (laughs) I kind of had a feeling. (laughs) And no, it's and no, it's not a fake body they kill. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I got my soap opera brain on. Okay. Is it their evil (laughs) twin? (laughs) It is yes. her twin. Yes. yes, yeah, it is her twin. <laughs> Although they're both e- they're both evil. They're both crazy. So you're yeah. you're mostly right. Okay, okay. Yeah. Did they make the bear? Yes. 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 Okay, so it's twins who made like a, a good half evil half bear thing. Alright, cool. I feel like I know this entire series in and out now. You don't, trust me. You, <laughs> I feel like you, I do. You, 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 <laughs> I feel like I do. I feel like you, I do. you don't know the well I'll say this. You you guess the twist villain, right? But the reasoning for why they're trapped in the school and why the whole setup of the game is that you will never guess it. Because I was All like, right. what the hell did this come from? All right, do we want do we want me to go guessing? I wanna I wanna be very clear. I am not Googling anything right now. I'm just gonna go off wild guesses right now. All right. You're not gonna guess it right. No, no, no. Let me, you are not let gonna me, guess it. Right. Let me cook here. Let me okay. cook. <laughs> and then we'll tell him let if it's bad. Cook. All right. If the pasta is bad. So <laughs> I've watched a number of animes and been aware of a number of different like properties and stuff they keep mentioning hope and despair that right. seems to be a running theme mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. is it something about collecting the emotional energies or something to rewrite the world to fit Pinkie Pie's image I feel like it's gonna go Kizniver or something like that uh, I'm closer than you thought I'd be, aren't I? <laughs> you're describing this some, like, something evang- else related to Danganronpa, but in the opposite way. Is this like an Evangelion kind of like, we're going to take it back to Primordial Soup kind of deal, but we need a bunch of random high school children to like get really emotional first? No, it, no. It's, not, it's not that complicated. Hmm. The you were closer to talking. You were closer to describing the plot of something else in Ding and Rumpa that I won't mention because I don't want to spoil things for Envy. I feel like I've already spoiled <laughs> yeah. something. Clearly. Well, well. Basically, the world went to shit. Like it literally went into despair, and the headmaster of the school pretty much said, "Okay, these children all have special abilities or special quirks about them." And so to protect them, to protect the future of humanity, he willingly locks all the kids up in the school to protect them. But then Junko and her twin takes over and then creates the, you know, the death game murder situation. So you're saying when you say despair, everyone's just depressed outside or the world like blown? The world is ending. Okay. The world is ending. So they basically got these guys. Crazy. So they could be like the survivors of humanity? More or yes. less. Yes. And mm-hmm. it's also revealed that the students went to the normal school for two years, but then her and her twin sister literally made everyone have amnesia to where they it made it seem like they never met. Yeah. 
I think I like my primordial soup thing a little bit better. Well, like your collecting of emotions thing to build up either hope or despair is a plot for something else, but I don't want to spoil it for Envy if he is interested in playing a game. Okay, okay, I think I get it. The secret Pinkie Pie triplet is building no, a cannon no. <laughs> powered by teenage <laughs> angst. And that was what are you saying? The world. Now, now, are you, do you keep saying Pinkie Pie because that's her voice actress? Is that her voice actress? I don't, I didn't. I don't know. I don't know why, I, why, I don't know why you were bringing up Pinkie Pie. Because she has pink hair. Yeah, because she has pink hair. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty I sure. I thought it was blonde. I think, I think she's the only one with pink hair, right? No, but all the cosplayers have pink wigs. For some reason, yeah. I thought it was blonde. I mean, so, so teenage angst canon to destroy the world, and then the weirdos will inherit the earth. <laughs> Sounds like an anime to me. I don't know. I would just like to say it was really stupid of them to pull this on, you know, teenagers who are going through puberty. If you just wake up two years older, your body's different. <laughs> oh, so none of them noticed it. No. No. Mm -mm. The, like, the literally, detective girl does. Yeah. At one point, she's like, "What did you do to my body?" I'm like, "So I guess." Wait, and then we find out. It's like, why would you do that? So I guess none of them are like super high school geniuses. They're all super something else, and she's the only smart one. Yeah. Yes, she's a little bit, yeah. pretty much. She's literally the master detective, as they call her. Okay. Has she already figured it out that like the twins and triplets are all running around destroying the planet? Uh, at the end of these three episodes. No. <laughs> no. All right. Um, but she does figure it out eventually. What I will mm -hmm. say, though, in defense of them not noticing how their bodies have changed, maybe you've already gone through your puberty at that point. Maybe. Because, I mean, they're not middle schoolers. They're high schoolers. So most yeah. of them are pretty much done, except for maybe some of the boys. Okay, that's fair. I was a late bloomer. <laughs> I was very early, so I wouldn't have noticed. Disney Bakia is also is that his name? Yeah. Byakia? Yeah. Togami. Yeah. Words. I think he's smart too, but he's just so full of himself that he would not actually come he off is, smart. He he has some level of intelligence, but I feel like he just is like, why am I here with these people? I'd probably ask the same thing, but for different reasons. Not like I'm egotistical, like I just don't want to be around these people. That's fair. Yeah. A lot of them suck. Yeah. So I'm a meh here. Uh, maybe a light yay. Maybe it gets better. I feel like I just spoiled the whole thing for myself, but you know. A little bit. Yeah. Seems all right. But there's like so much to it. Yeah. But, like you got the end destination, but it's a whole journey to get there. Just quick question. Yeah. Nuclear apocalypse or what? No, it was just literally, literally, when I say people go insane, they just literally go insane with despair. And the images they show in the anime, I don't know what it was like in the game, but literally everyone is wearing the bear mask, like around the world spreading destruction. So it's literally- All like, right, just now going it feels at, like it's going full Shyamalan and I might not be into it anymore. Uh, Gav, you have any input on that? I mean, it's all mind control to mess with people's psyche. And then they just stay like that. There you go. Yeah, Read Dangan Rumpa Zero. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to stick to Meh and probably just not pick it up again. Okay. That's what about fair. the game? I don't know. You guys might talk me into it. Who knows? <laughs> I mean, we could play it for the channel. I'm down to voice silly voices for for people's characters. It's an option. Yeah, silly voices are fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, what are your guys' opinions? I mean, I gave mine earlier. It's a meh for me because I mean, it's just not like it should be. I'm somewhere between like a man, a light egg. I haven't really played the game. I haven't played the game at all, so I have no point of reference to compare it to. But as an anime, I think this is fine. There are, are some aspects of it that I would have really liked to have seen a lot more of because I actually like watching people try to solve mysteries and not just them showing me images on a screen. So there are certain aspects that I feel like I would have changed, but budget and committee stuff. So it kind of had a couple of barriers as to what it could do. Otherwise, 
Well, I'll just say, like, if nothing else, the song slap. All right? <laughs> <laughs> and apparently so does Pinkie Pie across my face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I probably enjoyed this anime the most out of everybody. Like, I had a blast watching it. They're like the like most of it like the last couple episodes when they kind of went into the backstory of the world i i i admit i kind of was like really like like why is this so complex like i don't buy this but before but other than that i still had a great time watching it and i i'm not gonna go out on a limb and say i'm going to watch or play every single thing in the danganronpa series but i went from having almost no interest in it to having a somewhat interest in it and i mean i guess if it i guess that was the thing of the anime to get plebs like me to get into it so there you go yeah i'll give it like a meh to light yay like it's fine the weirdest part i think was seeing these characters move because the <laughs> game is very static like the imagery is like their little cardboard cutouts it's yeah. so yeah. visual it's novel, novel. <laughs> But even more than that, when you're, like, walking around the school, they, like, pop up, like, little cardboard cutouts in a pop-up book. You mean, like, a visual yeah. novel? It's, <laughs> that's uh, fun. And they're flat. <laughs> yeah. They're, like, two-dimensional in a three-dimensional space. I feel like a complaint mm -hmm. last week was, uh, this thing didn't animate enough, and this one's animating too much? <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess it was cool to see. It was just a little, what's the word? Dissonance? Whatever. It's would you, fine. Would you have preferred Way of the House Husband? No. <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> You'd be like, oh, yes. This is how these characters should be. Speaking of catchy theme songs. It's fine. You just... I guess it's a good, like, recap if you forget what happens because it goes yeah. through it so quick. But, like, it leaves out a lot of the character and the story and it kind of takes, like, the mystery out of it by going through it so quick and not really, like letting you s investigate yourself. Yeah. Alright. Well, that's Dangus for Pangus, and we'll continue... Well, I mean, you know what? You guys let me know if you guys actually want to watch that, or not watch that, play that at some point. We'll see about doing that, maybe. Or not. I have no... How... General, how many hours do you think it would take? Uh, um, I think around if... 30 hours for the first game. That's not um, terrible. But... If we're voicing all of it, though? Yeah, it's going to take way longer. All right. We're, it's going to take about 100 episodes again. Well, we'll yeah. see if people are into that. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, let's talk about something that's definitely not a, a complicated or a long-winded sort of show and gaming <laughs> franchise that we'll be doing next week. Persona 4, what happened to 1 through 3? Uh, Persona 3 wasn't animated yet. And into the movie uh, Quadrology, and Atlas doesn't care about Persona 1 and 2. So, yeah, pretty much. These people also don't know how chronology works when it comes to animating things. Good to know. Feels like it's becoming a running theme. Uh, we'll find out more about Envy's favorite anime adaptation of a favorite video game next week. Bye bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. -bye. bye. Hey, thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon for notifications. If you enjoy this video, give us a like, and if you haven't already, check out some of our previous episodes, our daily gaming videos, or our parody series, Madoka Magically Abridged. See you next time!